Hi, this is Luke from RamX Productions. Today in Spotfire Tips and Tricks, I'm going to show you how to get the top 10 states that sold the most items in 2020 and 2021. We'll do this with the dense rank function. This is really solid whenever it comes down to you want to display this maybe in a cross table. So what we're going to do is we're going to do change this to state. We're going to change this to our order date and year. And we're going to do our sum of cells. So you can see all of our states have our total cells. And you can go right click properties. Spotfire has a show and hide items. We're going to do some cells and we're going to do the top 10. So that's easy enough, right? And we want to show this. We're going to hit OK. However, when we do this, it will only show us top 10 values for 2020 and 2021. And if you have multiple years, it'll go forth. So what happens is we only have eight states being shown for 2020. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, because we have two values over here. So this doesn't really help us, right? So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna do data. We're gonna do column properties. We're going to scoot this guy over so when we add new columns, we can see it. And we're going to hit insert and go calculate column. So what we have to do is kind of just rebuild this table with um, different columns. Our first one is we need to extract a year out of order date using the year function. So we're going to do year and we're going to do underscore order date. We're going to get hit OK. And we're going to do insert another calculated column. And this time we're going to do our sum of our cells. And we're going to do this over the intersect of our state. And then our new column that we just created, your order date. I'm all about saving steps. And so sometimes I'll make a more complicated equation. And to save extra column from being calculated. However, with this, we can't, with the intersect function, you can't put another function in there. It won't allow that. And you get this warning message. So that is the reason why I started with creating the year order date. So if you never worked with sums, or excuse me, over intersect, what this says is we're going to take our total sum of cells. We're going to take that and we're going to have a separate value for each state for each year. So what we have here is we have Alabama and we have our cells per date when they were ordered for all 2020. And it's going to sum all these up for one value and it's going to repeat that value. Then whenever it switches to 2021, it will give us another value. So what we're going to call this is we're going to say total cells per year per state. We're going to hit OK. And then what we're going to do real quick is we're going to right click, or excuse me, left click, and we're going to change this. So you see here now 2021 for Alabama is the sum of this is $1,211.40. And for the 2020 cells, it's going to be this $6,767.90. And then it just keeps repeating like this for Arizona, as well as 2020. So you get the idea. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go back up to data, column properties. We're going to move this guy over and we're going to hit insert calculated column on the functions. Let's type in rank and it'll give us all the options with rank. If you never worked with functions, it's really nice. They'll give you a description of what the function does as well as the different arguments that you could use within the function as well as looking into examples, what we have. So what we're going to do is we're going to use dense rank. 
dense rank will actually give us unique values and will give us the number, the highest ranking number equals the number of unique values in the column. Rank will give you the number of rows that you have. So this one will come up close. It will give us the total number of rows per year and it'll just be a repeated value. This will actually give us around 50. If we have 50 states, it'll give us 50 states because it's going to be looking at how many unique values in the state, the state column. So we're going to say dense rank. We are going to do total cells per state per year. We're going to do this by descending. And then what we want to do is we're going to say we want a new rank for each year. We're going to call this our rank of cells per state per year. All right. So now what we see is let's sort this. Clear our sorting real quick. So we want this to go, and then we're going to change this. So we have ones, and then let's actually change that. Now we have 46 as our max. So let's real quick, just so for illustration purposes, let's go back up to data. And then column properties, let's edit. And let's just go ahead and change this back to rank. And see what happens. So the max value now for 2021 would be 1,439. So for this example, we'll use dense rank. And we're going to hit OK. All right. What we want to do is we're going to right click. We're going to duplicate this visualization we're gonna right click again and there's multiple ways where we could do this so we're gonna show hide we could take this off and it'll actually give us the full amount let's go to axis let's go to our rank columns and let's just scoot this over so now it's displaying our top ranks. And for example, we have one in Michigan for 2020, ranked number four in sales. But now if we look at Texas, it's ranked the fourth for 2021. So let's go to data. And we can limit data using expression. We're going to hit edit. And we're going to say our rank of sales per year Let's go is equal to less, less than or equal than to number to 10. We're going to hit OK. And there we go. So this is really solid. Uh, cross table might not be the best way to display this or maybe do it too. But this will get you the rank that you need, especially whenever you have multiple rows of data per per category you, you want to rank. Thank you for watching today. If you liked the video, go ahead and ram that thumbs up button. Then be sure to subscribe to our channel so you'll be notified every time we upload a new video. Also, comment any issues you're having with Spotfires so that I can come up with a video to help you out. Until next time.